Hey guys, and welcome back to Mass Factorio. As always, I'm joined by Arumba, Mangled Pork, and Avak. Hello. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Not too bad, actually. Uh, pretty good now. I've got my uh, new power armor. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally just about to do that, Avak. <laughs> Um, it needs to be done at this point. <laughs> My lord. Yeah. They're so slow. I'm going to set the, the auto research priority right now because I'm sick of seeing all the crap getting put on it. Yeah. I'm going to need a couple more logistics. I now. support this endeavor of yours. I'm going to switch these copper lines to blue belt because I think we need that now. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh my what god, happened? Did I <laughs> by a biter? No. What? I a biter? Not a, hit not by a train? train or something? No, a no. A train? I would have understood. A biter? No. No, no. no. If you see what just happened oh, to me. Yeah, I can see quite a lot. You were right in the middle of their base at the time, weren't you? Yeah, I was killing them. I was fighting them. So what happened? I just got. There was that many biters that they surrounded me and I couldn't move. Mm. Uh, yeah, that will happen, though. That's all right. Stupid man. That's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid, stupid man. Loving the little outpost you set up. In fact, I'm going to go for a trip. Bentham, want to come for a trip? Let's hop on one these trains and just... Oh, good God. <laughs> I forgot I'd done this. Uh... Bugger, I was going to send Farl back, but it's actually in a place where it can't automatically. Can't return. So, how, how many? Just tell us, how many... Uh... Fusion reactors, did you lose? You lost power armor mark two. Uh, how, how many two? alien giblets? That's, uh, I worked for those alien giblets, so. Yeah, but we got we got to really be able to like recognize just how painful that death was. Yeah. The resources of the factory here. I like how there's oh. just random cars and tanks laying around. I know. It's kind of <laughs> painful. How painful is kind of painful? Being like, I can't find my tank. I'm just gonna make a new one. Yeah, it'd be cool. You know how with trains, you can specify their color, and with mm -hmm. cars and tanks, when you get them and they change to your color, what, what if you could specify the color of a tank, like a train locomotive, oh, so that yeah. you could actually like label your tank, so I could see, like, hey, there's the red tank, that's that's Avax, or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Nico, I'll uh, reverse file oh, to the point that it can just go around the loop if you want. Oh, perfect. There we go. All right. Go ahead, send it back. I'm on it right now. I'll just ride it back. I just uh, rode the train out here just to see uh, what it looked like. It's actually quite nice. It's a nice little trip. Yeah, so it's getting out there. Yeah. I'll probably go... You said we're missing copper, so I'll probably go and secure the copper just to the north of copper too. Yeah. Yeah. And give that on a go. I was, I was just clearing that out because I didn't want coal too to be attacked. And yeah, unfortunately... Wait. I think the problem is just the uh, the smelting. Like I'm hooking up two yeah. more columns at the moment, which should well, fix that. Well, if copper is less than everything else, then it makes sense for me to do copper. We could maybe do with a bit yeah. of stone. At the moment, our stone supply is not great. I don't know if it matters, but I yeah, guess something's getting it. There's stone up there as well, so... What are we trying to build at the moment that the robots can't get to? Oh... That's quite a lot. So, Rumba, you were talking about how uh, much you were enjoying, uh, or rather, how uh, impressed you were with the way the uh, sort of like uh, heating the water and then storing it in tanks rather than having like fields and fields of capacitors and all that. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, you guys have noticed, I hope, mm -hmm. over the last number of episodes, how well power yeah. has worked for the most part without actually having to pay any attention to it at all. Yeah. It's quite convenient. Um, one of the main advantages that I've seen from using that system versus, and it's not my system, so I'm not trying to take credit for it or anything, but one of the advantages to it is that when when you suddenly don't have enough power production, your factory doesn't just shut off because you've got like, you know, 12, what, 40 steam engines and uh, gobs and gobs of accumulators and solar panels. Like eventually you stop building steam, right? If you go the, the solar yeah. accumulator route. Mm-hmm. But with this, when you finally run out of power, you just operate like 70, 80, 90 percent efficiency, and you start to see it much earlier than oh crap, there's no power at all. Yeah. 
And there's also really no risk whatsoever to the biters killing you in the night because you will always have power for your lasers because yeah. lasers take priority over everything else. Mm -hmm. So even if you have a, a minuscule amount of production, they will get the power. We are out of storage. Are we really? Yeah. I'm going to add some to the train area right now. Yeah. Bentham, did you have any any projects that you were looking into working on? Um, at the moment, I'm just sorting out copper lines and stuff. Say, I, uh, I have another idea mm -hmm. that hopefully isn't bad. What if, whenever you hover over a RoboPort, you know how it says logistics, a uh, number of logistics robots, or a number of yeah. available robots, logistics mm -hmm. and construction. What if there was one more little bullet that said percentage of logistics storage capacity? So you could hover over and it would say 87%. So of this network, 87% of the space in all logistics chests is currently full. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Like, why are these robots here so all hovering, by yeah. the way? I was wondering that. I can't see them trying to do anything. So it's, it's possible where, where that they, they have no room to take it to somewhere? Unless it's just okay, robots from Farrell. Oh, yeah. You just drove by with Farrell? Yeah. Well, Farrell's, Farrell's sitting there. It's in the, the depot. And Farrell's full? What's the try to do like? The robots are literally just hovering in place. They've well, all, they they're are. all carrying something. Yeah, yeah, it's over here by the train station. So you're just... If you think they're Farrell-owned Farrell robots, that would be... <sighs> Interesting to know. Right. Well, what are we currently missing? Where are they at? What were you? Right here. Right here below the copper. Did, Did you I'm deconstruct something? Uh, not with robots, no. Huh. So these so ones, I, I don't know where they belong. They're storage. They're in the main network. They're storage in the main network. Yeah, I reckon they're probably Farrell, Farrell robots then, and because Farrell doesn't have any spare room, that was probably something got deconstructed. Yeah. They've went to deconstruct you... it, and then they can't drop anything off in Farrell. Are you grabbing the, the level 2 modules from here, Avec? No. Oh, uh, oh no, no, so I am, sorry. I yeah, I still have the uh, request. Sorry, I'll pop them back into the network. Is that, I'll see if I can... I'll see if well, I can the there's, there's no chests. Where did the chests go? Did you take them out yeah, so that you could gather them? No, I just came over here and they were gone. I was wondering why. No, I Perhaps put them we should, uh... back. And now there's just one one on the ground. I guess I'll take that. See, Joe, what if we were to make the trains... The actual train station far enough away that whenever you did logistics stuff with Farl, it would not interact with the primary logistic network? Uh, it would need to be oh, quite far here. away. I mean, you were mentioning the way... units again. Did you say that we were short that should on be, that should be fixed stone, there, Bentham? Um, oh, yeah, you... we could do with mining some more. Okay. You... Well, there's a couple of stone deposits just north of the base. Like, literally north of us right now. Uh... I don't How'd think it's that urgent. I'm not I, sure what uh... actually uses the, the stone in the first place. I removed some belt from one of the far carriages, and... Uh, they just unreserved okay. the slot. Other than brick, I don't think many things use it, really. Uh, I mean, you need it for a couple of things later on. Namely, like, uh, ele uh, electric smelters. In fact, on that note, are we making electric smelters anyway? Not making, but I'm using a couple. Okay, let me go and find the best place to set them up. Well, actually, it'll be towards the end of the line. Let me get those on the network. God, I was still in the middle of sorting out the copper stuff when I when I came back here. That was such There's another copper line that I can still connect up, which should help with even more circuits, which should get us more processing units and then more parasuit stuff. You I still don't have a parasuit. I've still got a. I'm still wearing heavy armor because I just want to get the level two, and I keep thinking we're so close. Avak, you fucker. What's wrong? You put down the red chests that I removed, <laughs> so that I could get some uh, uh, module threes. Oh, I was literally talking with Bentham. I came over. He was like, "Yeah, I don't know what it was about. The, the they just weren't here anymore." So I thought, "Oh, all right, I'll put them back down." I was fairly certain that I'd fixed the system. Like, remember when I was waiting on them? I I said yeah. I was breaking the system. 
Yeah, um, no, that's why I done it because I was. Yeah, I was yeah, no. And part. when I came back, I was like, oh, I was sure I fixed it, but maybe I didn't. So I was just trying to correct the thing I'd done wrong. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I was like, oh, I'll go and check what Arimba's on about. Fix uh. that when I come back. There should be a couple of them. <laughs> Is anyone requesting them? Like, uh, I was, but I I put them back into the uh, logistics, like because uh, um, Bentham asked, and I was like, oh no, yeah, I am requesting a couple. I don't know why I am anymore. So. I'm requesting them, and I have now ended up with some. I've got three level. I've got three speed modules, two efficiency modules. Damn it! I'm gonna make sure it's specifically at five, so I only get how much I need to get. I just want a power suit. All he wants for Christmas is a power suit. I just want a second power suit. Hmm. We're gonna have to have some sort of rule that if you waste it, you don't get another one. <laughs> Although, what's your definition of waste? Um, when you die to biters at this point in the game, is basically wasting it. I don't know. You should go up and have a look at that base. I bet you would die to biters. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. I, I I could give it a try, I suppose. Let me set this up first, and then I'll go and have a look at it. Although saying that, as I was dying, I flamethrowed everything, so there's probably not a lot of that base left. Okay. Uh, At least you went down fighting. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, I killed all the things that ended up killing me just because I flamethrowed my feet. Ferric victory. Excuse me? Ferric victory. Or is it Pyrrhic? Okay. Oh. I, 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 saw you, I thought you said phallic victory, and I, I've always heard the word pyric. So when you said it, Pyrrhic, the way you know. said it, I, I had assumed you said <laughs> a phallic victory, which was, was much, victory. much different in my mind. <laughs> huh? Of course it was a phallic victory. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. So I, I've, I've really tried, I've tried so hard to love auto trash in vanilla and I just, I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it, Captain. No, I think, I think the next time I do a campaign, I'm going to play with the mod again because... Uh, we actually we actually have auto trash. I've just tried not using it. It's just so much better. The 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 one button that we really need is the pause auto trash button, or the not active when outside the primary network button, that kind of thing. There's... Yeah. Anyway, so what's new with you guys? Uh, not that much actually. Uh, I've. Guess I'm starting to play a little bit of uh, Keep a Roguelike on my channel, which is something that I haven't done in a little while. Um, I'm just waiting that, for though, I've been playing quite a lot of the same games, just really enjoying them. How about you? Mm, pretty much the same thing. Um, I, I've, I'm really, for me personally, I'm in a very, very much holding pattern esque yeah. position right now where. You know, there's no games that I'm really particularly excited about that are coming out, and so I'm just kind of playing the same games over and over again, which is okay. I enjoy it. It's just, it would be kind of nice, especially with the holidays and everything, to have something new to look forward to. Yeah. You know, like Civ Six came out, but that's not really my cup of tea. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm surprised you're not into Civ Six actually. I thought that. Well, would've... I played it. Oops. I played it, but I've you know I've been working with uh, a new friend slash YouTuber guy quite a bit, Filthy Robot, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, I see you uh, hosting his streams quite often. Yeah, that's actually the Twitch auto host thing. I, I yeah. added him to my list of people that I'm. Uh, I guess he gets preference for auto hosting. It's, it'll auto host anyone who plays stuff similar to me, but certain play certain people or channels that are more related to my stuff. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah. Filthy Robot's assessment of Civ 6 is pretty good, and that is that single player is shit, and that the only way you can really play that game is if you played multiplayer, and I don't like multiplayer because the games take too long. I can't sit down for two hours, three hours to just play a game of Civ 6. And, uh, because like we did a campaign where we played against the DD AI. Yeah. And, uh, we had, we had both never done it, and we just trashed them. We just, we just sat down and just beat them. And it takes a lot of skill to beat DD AI in Civ. Civ 5, or at least a lot of experience, and uh, 
Civ 6 is just too easy. And I don't know. Granted, it's brand new. They got to patch it and stuff. Yeah, okay. my my rule of thumb is, I don't I don't judge. Well, I sh <laughs> this, this, I try not to judge too harshly any new Civ game. And that uh, initially, I was I was about to say I don't judge any new Civ game on on the standards of, of any of the older ones. But really, I should. There's no good reason why I shouldn't expect an expensive game like that to be good out of the box. But my generally, each new Civ is worse than the last one until it gets past <laughs> patched, and then it's better. And then it gets that's better. a that's a great business model right there. Each each new Civ is worse than the last one. Nice. Well, it, <laughs> I know it, what you're it, saying. It honestly, honestly, is the case. You know, it, like Civ Five when it came out it wasn't as good as a fully expanded Civ Four. It just wasn't. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of games like that, though. I mean, look at one of the most popular games today, and that's The Sims. A new mm. Sims comes out, and it's pretty shit. And then they, they start adding all the add-ons and expansion packs that they want people to buy, and then it actually gets playable. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I, I would say that, that with, with Sims is more of a business model. With well, Civ, it's just... Yeah. yeah. They yeah, do it, that intentionally to yeah. milk, milk the, the DLC. Yeah. But with, with Civ, disgusting. I just think that they try to play around with the formula a bit and there's a lot to like in the game but it just it, it does struggle a bit in my opinion it yeah. definitely struggles a little bit why is there hmm well i went to the the Paraxis oh, slash 2k uh event for civ 6 yeah. in uh new york and the way they explained their their like their strategy for Civ 6 was that they had 33% of the content was going to be old, 33% was going to be the same as Civ 5, and 33% mm -hmm. was going to be about new. That was the the basic strategy that they were going to try. Okay. And uh seems to have worked. I do think Civ 6 out the box was better than Civ 5. Out yeah, the yeah. Box. oh yeah. Civ 6 out of the box was better than Civ 5 out of the box, but it, it is not as good as a fully expanded Civ 5. Yeah. Though, that but, being said, I will say that Civ 6 is probably the... Since, like, I don't know, maybe maybe Civ 4? Probably not even there. But, you know, since earlier than Civ 4, Civ 6 was probably one of the more complete Civ games out of the box in terms of it had religion, it had all of these different things, which usually that was just a gigantic expansion later on. But it's had yeah. that there. It might get expanded upon, but it was already there, you know? And, and that is to Civ 6's credit. Yeah. Although I feel bad for uh, like Filthy Robot because you know the majority of his YouTube channel is based around playing Civ Five, and part of the, the issue he's running into now, and it would be if we're if if your if your channel was primarily Civ Five, mm. and Civ Six came out, no one's gonna really want to watch Civ Five anymore. But Civ Six is not as good as a game as Civ Five is, so you're yeah. just sort of screwed. Yeah, you're kind of cut, caught in a, a bit of a tricky situation there. Yeah, I, know, I see what you mean. Right. Um, I have okay. significantly improved the circuit situation. Uh, what kind of circuit? We Green now circuits? have uh, basic circuits and thus all the others, hopefully. I've now got it so that we actually have copper going to the end of the lines for once. Oh, nice. You did mention you were working on that. Well done, dude. I just... Lots of blue belts, extra splitters everywhere. Mm -hmm. And now it's all working and don't touch it because it'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> I love your confidence in your work. Oh, fantastic. Back to uh, the Factorio interface complaining again for just a moment. Please, God, Yay. please. Why is it... When? When will they make it so that when you control-click an item in your inventory, it will always go to the trash? If you have your inventory <laughs> open, I just want it to go to the goddamn trash. I don't want it to go to my taskbar. At least give me two separate buttons so that I can just always send stuff to trash. I hate it that there's some items that will go to the trash by default, like like your raw materials and your plates and stuff, but so many other things you cannot do that with. Ugh. Okay, that's my complaint. I'm done. That's my complaint for the day. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. You, you had, had a quota. and uh... Now it's been met. Yep. It's all okay. I feel bad about these robots as I'm telling them to go and collect things, even though I know that the robots can't accept them, and so the robots are basically now prisoners here for a little while. Why? Why is there no? Why was there no input on the level three modules? Did I not put it in, or did somebody take it out for some reason? I removed it. 
But, but why? Because I'm sitting here trying to get my stuff and it was stopping my stuff. Wait, so Steedro just changed something specifically for his own personal benefit? But I don't I don't get it, because he removed the inserters feeding Oh, so that the end ones would be. I see. <laughs> I love the way that whenever someone does something like that, everyone else is like, You selfish cad! And it's like, we all do it. <laughs> Every single no, I... one of us does it. <laughs> well, I was, just... <laughs> I was sitting here like manually feeding all of the factories oh. so that I could get my, my power armor back up. Yeah. It's okay, because yeah. now I've I've fixed circuits, so there should be more processing units, so it should be okay. I was just giving Cedra a hard time because we had done that, and that was actually what spurred like the entire argument about the uh, the belts. No, it wasn't. No, yeah. you said that my system wasn't working when it was. That's yeah, what spurred I, an argument. I don't know. Yeah, oh, but no. I kept... oh, no. oh, God. <laughs> I, I kept... Mom and Dad are arguing again. Are they going to get a divorce? I kept changing it. For my benefit. Are we going to have to go and live, live with... with, with... Granddad and Grandma. I'm yes. just ignoring them and, and looking at the advanced circuits and seeing why Don't it's Don't worry, working. Bentham. I'll take care of you if, if they get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to ignore it. Everything's fine over here. There this is, is where I go and die to Bitus. If I died to the Bitus, I'm blaming that argument. <laughs> it was oh my only my way God. out. We are short on plastic. I I really shouldn't have rotated that. I should have seen who it was first so that I could shout at them, but that's fine. I'll fix it now. Sorry, Biters, you all have to die. I know, I know, it's unfair, but yeah, well, this is the way it's going to have to be. There's not enough plastic, and it is because of a lack of chemical plants making it, I think. So I will add more. Well, that's yeah. beneficial. What is? The fact that it's only production, it's not anything else. And I, I was I was quite relieved to see that. I'm like, yay, we don't have to do loads of oil things. I can just add more of these. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now i got to wait for the train because I'm too lazy to walk back. This We're going to have to expand the... Uh... The power soon. I need like, more solar panels. Oh, well, I did. The, the solar panel portion of it needs to get expanded. Um, well, the circuit supply is doing better nowadays, so it won't be so bad making them. Part of the issue, I think a long time ago, Cedar, didn't we restrict the amount of solar panels that were being made? We need a whole lot more than just a couple, a couple hundred, uh, like 400 yeah, in the system. Yeah, there's 342 there. Yeah, we need like 3,000 to actually pair up with that other thing that I did, roughly. Okay. I don't remember. There you go. Oh, are you, did you just do it? Yeah. Ah, there you are. You're great. You blend in. Are you trying to hide? Yeah. He's got a nice. lot to hide from. Oh, thank the goodness. The train is back. Me. And with that, we're probably going to have to wrap this episode up there. And did oh. You know? Stupid time I know. existing. It's... <laughs> It's terrible. Why can't time just freeze? But then none of us freeze. Why can't time not work the way that time works? I want Bernard's watch, damn it. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't, because there was a lot of different things attached to that. Like, you couldn't be a dick with Bernard's watch. Yeah, that's true. Steejo would just cease to exist. Yeah, because it got taken what? off you if you were a dick. So, like, you couldn't just be like, you know what, mate? Pause time. Kept coming to nuts on pause time. Was that a rule in the TV show or something? Yeah, he. Uh, I, I think he, I think he stole something from a shop or something, and it was like, no, you can't do that. You, uh, I'll have to take it off you if you act like that or some shit. So I, ju I just remember the book, and the only thing about the book was that you had to have like some not nice tasting lemon juice so you didn't like faint or something. No. Oh, well, that doesn't seem too bad. For the power to control sell. time, yeah. As as cost versus reward go, that was a pretty good deal. I gotta be great, honest. It meant if any if anyone nicked the watch, they would eventually just knock themselves out from using it because they didn't know the thing. Mm hmm Right. Well, I am anyway. back. The ah. fighter base that was threatening Cold Two is gone. Yay! Fucking piece of shit. 
Have you got your power armor yet? Yeah, just like took me all episode. <laughs> just finally got it. <laughs> a whole yeah. episode of watching Steve just mill about, really waiting for something to build build itself for him. Fair I much. might have a parachute eventually. Oh, maybe, well, maybe one if day. You, maybe if you were proactive about it and fed the factories. That's Probably work. <laughs> All right, well, well, ladies and gents. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we'll have to wrap it up here then, and we'll be back soon, yeah? Yes. Yes. But, so, as always, thanks all for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. 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 See you soon. That was me trying to wave, by the way. <laughs>